RV refrigerator troubleshooting. In the modern fridges, there's only, only three things that can go wrong. Um, if you run your fridge on level a lot, it's possible that you have uh, burned and and coked up the lines inside. Uh, it takes quite a bit of unlevel running. It's why you want to keep them level if you can. When you're driving, they're sloshing back and forth. It's fine. Um, we had the cooling, the heating, condensing coil unit. Pulled the fridge out, had it replaced uh, as an Amish country, company or a Mennonite company. One of the you know the religions that doesn't let them use electricity, so they have propane refrigerating. Anyways, uh, sent it out, had it reconditioned, brought back in. That made it better, but it didn't fix it. We replaced the electronics. That made it work quite a bit better for a while. But probably, if you've got an old fridge, you probably got rust in the flue, and it's plugging an orifice. And the orifice is so tiny, it really doesn't take much. So, first thing you need to do is remove this cover here. Understand that you're working with propane, and I'm not responsible in any way, shape, or form for the things you do. However, you need to remove this cover right here so that you can get at the burner itself. Your refrigerator should look something like this. This one happens to be 20 years old and it's in a prowler. Dinosaur Electronics, they're the people who rebuilt the electronics for the fridge. So that's where that came from. Give a shout out to them. This is the control solenoid. Turns the burners on and off. You might want to check that this valve here, which is the on off valve, and yours will have something similar. Hasn't somehow gotten flipped, and you might even flip it off and back on a time or two, just in case there's something in there. This is the flame shroud. So probably what you've got is rust down on top of the burners. So you need to remove the flame shroud to get in there and clean that off. And again, you're dealing with propane, I'm not responsible for anything that happens. However, this is how I do it. What you've got here, this will be your igniter, unless your uh, propane fridge is really old and has a pilot light. So there's your igniter, and if you don't, if it doesn't come on at all, you might check that that's still working. You can slip just this tiny bit of emery paper in between the two there, scuff them up, but probably it's fine. And this is your actual flame burner tube. And it might not look like much right there, but if that thing is plugged, or you have got a lot of rust coming down, it won't it won't produce the right size and shape of flame. Now you can see the rust down inside here. In fact, here's look at these piles of it coming out. So we've just driven this camper 2,500 miles, and it's old. And so inside this stack, as it bounces. Back, you can see more right there. Uh, this rust and crap falls out. This, this refrigerator is past its useful lifespan, but because I take it apart and do this to it, I don't know, every, every year or so, uh, we keep pushing it along. This tube needs to come out. Uh, you can try blowing in there and blowing it backwards, but I've never had any luck uh, without an air compressor. So I need to remove that screw down there, remove this entire burner assembly, again, it's propane, I'm not responsible, and it could be hot, and pull that out. So I dumped that burner assembly into the palm of my hand, and that's what came out of the inside. And it might not look like much, but on an older fridge that's already kind of compromised and, you know, been around the block, it, it's enough. Actually, it's not particularly bad this time around. Like I said, we we are on borrowed time, and we just keep we just keep her limping and limping and limping. If you do this, you might also find you use less propane because your burner will come on less often because it's heating more efficiently. If that makes sense. So now I'm going to whack on this chimney stack a few more times, see what other big chunkies I can knock out, and I'll put her back together. Here it is, back on and running and I really wish I had taken a video of this before I started. I wasn't thinking. I don't know if you can even see the light blue flames. If you have anything other than light blue flames, no orange of any kind, only blue flames, if you have anything but that, if you see any orange flames coming up, sparks, you might get sparks coming out of it, that'd be little bits of rust coming up. If you see any of that sort of stuff, you have a dirty burner. 
and you need to pull it out. So you remove the flame cover, turn it on, look inside here. This should be a nice blue, almost clear flame. Nothing other than that. Also, you can see how this burner is slightly off center. I need to loosen the screw and adjust the burner forward to center the flames underneath the burner tube, the coil that goes inside the fridge. So right there, that's how you keep an older RV refrigerator running. If your fridge just gets warmer and warmer and warmer, almost, almost certainly, you pull this apart and you'll find that you've got orange flame and you got a plug burner tube. Take her out, dump it, put it back in, you are golden. Easy peasy. And there's proof of success. We've even got popsicles slushing back up again. So this had completely thawed um, by the time I woke up this morning. I can't remember if I checked it last night or not. But there she is. I don't have the thing ratcheted up on the highest. I have it in the middle. And it is refreezing everything again. So that little pile of dust you saw in my hand is enough to incapacitate your refrigerator. So please, once again, I'm not responsible. This is propane. Don't do anything you're not... Uh, let me just say don't do anything. However, that is what I do, and I do it. What? I do it every time the fridge starts to, to warm up. 20 years. Just keep, just keep cranking along.